smart mates are very useful already to this point, where we can take parts we already have in our assembly, hold the Alt key down, and drag and drop faces and edges and so forth to mate automatically. And also, we can drag directly from an open part window, edges and faces, without even having to hold down the Alt key. But what if you drag and drop from an icon? from a Windows folder or from a location in your design library. Then, since the part is not open, of course you cannot be dragging by a face or an edge. But SOLIDWORKS has thought of that and comes, has a mechanism now with mate references. Mate references are sort of predefined choices so that when you drag and drop a component, you're basically telling SOLIDWORKS, treat it as if I'm dragging and dropping it, not by icon, but by this edge or that face, depending on your wishes. Let's try this with the shaft. I will open the part file for the shaft, and I will create a mate reference, which is found under Reference Geometry. Simple mate reference setups require you to basically pick a face or an edge that you would like to treat as the dragging face or edge. I will pick the cylindrical face that we did earlier and set that to concentric. I'll set the alignment to any, which means I'll still be able to flip the alignment condition with the tab key and it will come in based off of its current position. And that's all I have to do. I now have a folder called Mate References and the default mate reference is to the outside cylindrical face, the main portion of the shaft. Now, I can save this part and close it. And if I drag and drop it from a Windows file folder, or if I drag, or excuse me, if I open it in Insert Components, since I'm picking it by an icon through the Browse menu, I of course would not be able to pick an edge or face normally but it will treat it as if I have it by that edge or face. And so you can see the barrels come up, and I can simply position to here and click to get that mate and accept the concentric mate. And here now I have my concentric mate, as you can see. Another way we could bring that shaft in is through a location in our design library. Our design library could be pointed to any folder we wish, and I'm pointing it to the same folder that our components for the gear box are in. There's the offset shaft that I just saved, and rather than do insert components, I'll simply drag and drop this one, and you'll notice that it snaps to cylindrical faces to be mated with. We get the little barrels that come up. They kind of flash, they don't necessarily stay around all the time, but they will jump. And then, again, the tab key, aligned or anti-aligned, let go, concentric confirmation, and again, I can keep on putting more in, but I'll escape out and finish. So, whether you use the insert component command, or you drag and drop from design library folder, or even just a Windows folder, those mate references will be live, and it will be treating it as if you're dragging the component in by the edge or face that you defined in the mate reference. Even just defining a single mate reference like this, which is the most common scenario, really can save you time because you're bringing the component in and getting at least one mate done all together, drag and drop in one shot.